Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We are looking at all three sides of this connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. So we've got your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle really looking at what is the deeper purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading. But I do have a different tarot deck for each side of the connection that we'll be diving into as well as the advice deck that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. On that note, these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left or vice versa, if you're a cross watcher, just know that that's totally fine and totally normal so please remember to again take what helps leave what doesn't all right Aquarius on your side of this connection you have stand your ground with the seven of wands in reverse it's interesting because this stand your ground and the seven of wands if it were upright these both kind of mean the same thing but you have it in reverse which is the need to stand your ground this can be um, you know, can represent lack of boundaries or even just self-doubt, right? When you doubt yourself, when you doubt your value, when you doubt um, your worth, you're not going to set boundaries because you're not going to stand up if you're, for your worth if you're already doubting it. And so there's a lot already just in this first message um, going on on your side of this with this need to, I don't know if it's necessarily speak up about what you need or if it's, um, standing up for what it is that you need like not even just communicating it but you know once you communicate it stand by that because that can be the hardest thing about boundaries is boundaries isn't just about setting a boundary it's about setting a boundary and then continuing to stand up and set that boundary as time goes on you know not using boundaries as an empty threat but actually you know setting them and standing by them now this person they have there will be a return with the nine of pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is the return of a karmic past partner um, or past relationship. It doesn't necessarily need to be romantic. So, you know, whatever, take again, take what resonates with you. But I do feel like there is a karmic cycle that exists with this person. And it's almost like, it feels like the universe is putting you through a test with this in some way. That might sound like, I don't know, that might sound kind of dumb, but it, that's what it feels like. We'll see. We'll get more on it. And then you have this Nine of Pentacles, though, in reverse, because I feel like you might actually kind of want that. You might actually want this person to return, but I don't think that you want this cycle to repeat. So I think there's a lot more to this than just what's on the surface, which we'll definitely see. But in between this connection, you have unresolved issues with the Two of Wands in reverse. So... To me, this is saying that until the issues in this connection, both on a personal level and then, because again, on all sides, right? Until the issues are, are resolved on all sides, this connection doesn't align with your highest good. It doesn't align with like either person's highest good, which is what makes it karmic. Um, because I do feel like there's a deeper purpose for this that isn't necessarily about the connection, but we'll see when we jump into tarot. So let's see. Let's start. This is for Aquarius, the side of this connection, clarifying stand your ground with the seven of wands in reverse. This is Aquarius, the side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Aquarius, the side of the connection to the person they're dealing with. One more. This is for Aquarius, the side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Aquarius's side of this connection. This connection is different. It, it makes you feel different or it feels different than other connections that you have had before. But, which I feel like is what makes you 
you know, you know when we really love and care about someone and we we care we start to care about that person or care about the connection more than ourselves meaning we start placing the person or the connection on a pedestal we then start to we stop standing up for ourselves and we start doing what's necessary to prioritize the connection now a healthy connection comes when both people are prioritizing what's best for them and that ends up being what's best for the connection. So that's what, you know, when both people are doing what's good, what's for their highest good, then the connection becomes of the highest good if it flows together. Um, which is why I've always said that I believe that any two people can, can make it work in any connection as long as both people are willing to do the work to make it happen, both on themselves and on the connection. Because as long as you're, you know, you're working on trying to align with your highest good at all times, meaning standing up for yourself, you know, setting boundaries, choosing what's best for your worth and things of that nature, and the, you know, it works for the connection, then that is, that is literally a sign from the universe that this connection is meant to be in your life. But if you ever get to a point where you're starting to sacrifice your boundaries or your worth or your value for the sake of connection, then there's something that needs to be adjusted because there's definitely a cycle that you've been stuck with in this person where you, you know, you're lacking these boundaries, you're not standing up for yourself, you're, and, and no shame, we've all been there, okay? Never any shame in my readings, never any, or never any judgment in my readings. Um, but when we, you know, we, I feel like you were, you know, again, sacrificing boundaries and things of that nature out of the hopes that you eventually wouldn't have to. You know, if I sacrifice my boundaries now, then maybe eventually this person will step up and they'll treat me different and they'll, you know, finally respect, you know, what it is that I need and desire. Um, it's almost like there's this part of you that felt like you needed to sacrifice boundaries for the sake of what could potentially be in this connection. Now, all that that did was set a precedent because the thing is is if you you we you teach people how to treat you whether or not you realize that you teach people how to treat you and you teach it by what you accept and what you're willing to put up with and anybody can you know can cross your boundaries anyone can but you know whether or not you stand up and you say that isn't going to work for me i don't like being treated that way i need you to you know i need you to step up i need you to show up for me more you know whatever the case is if you speak up about that and someone respects your boundaries and is like, oh, I didn't know, sorry, you know, I'll change my behavior, then that is great, that's a good sign. But if someone gets defensive and starts saying you're asking for too much or, you know, taking your boundaries as a personal attack, then that's someone who benefits from you not having boundaries and that is a sign from the universe that that person does not align with you, which I feel like may or may not be what's happening in this connection, but let's keep going. Aquarius is side of this connection. Definitely feels different than any other connection you've had. However, I think that there's a karmic lesson associated. This person's Aquarius' energy toward the person. Huh. Blinded by the light. The sun with the seven of swords. Blinded. It's almost like, yeah, because there's the nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you're focused so much on the good that existed in this connection, that exists maybe even. This could be a connection that's still together. But there's so much focus on the good that there almost feels to be some self-deception going on. Almost like not being fully honest with yourself about how much this connection is draining you draining your energy, um, how much it's taking from you and how little it's actually providing you with. Um, we'll get more on that, but that's what this feels like. Blinded by the light. It's a really easy thing to do in connections, especially when you very much care and love about some, care about and love someone deeply. Um, but there's also this like, you okay hang on how do I put this I'm trying to I'm trying to deliver these messages gently because I know that some of them are like cut through truths here and I don't you know it's never my intention to trigger anyone but there's this part of you that thinks you really want this connection but that's coming from the part of you that doesn't realize that this isn't as good as it gets for you now I'm not saying it can't be this person but I am saying that as of right now, 
this connection doesn't align with as good as it can get for you. Which might be difficult for you to understand because it might be the best you've ever experienced. Which can be tricky, but the best you've ever had does not mean that that's as good as it can get. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Aquarius, the side of this connection. Find it by the light. Aquarius, the side of this connection. Aquarius's side of this connection. Yeah, okay, you weren't treated very well here. King of Cups in reverse. I mean, this is this energy of, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is an energy of like borderline emotional manipulation. <laughs> um, I don't mean to laugh, it's just like, like I'm not laughing at the energy. It's just like, what I feel Because there you are, Aquarius, Queen of Swords. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. The way that you are treated in this connection, there's a part of you that genuinely believes that the treatment received in this connection is worth the connection itself. And I get that, I've been there. But one of the biggest lessons I ever had to learn on my journey and what I really want to come through in all of my readings that I do is that what is really meant for you, the love, the relationships, the abundance in general that is meant for you will never ever ask you to sacrifice your worth for the sake of it. And there is a part of you that has done that in this connection and felt as if it were necessary in order for you to, to receive the good part of the connection, blinded by the light, right? There's so much good that you do see in the connection that you're ignoring and avoiding the part of the connection that actually isn't good. Um, that doesn't treat you well. It's almost like maybe justifying the other person's behavior or... I don't know, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt to the extent that you, you forget that you are, um, you know, just as deserving of love as they are, whatever the case might be. But I don't think you were treated very well in this, um, in this connection. Or are. This could be connection that's currently together, but... I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like a, a, something from the past, but we'll see. Aquarius is side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Aquarius is side of this connection, please. This is for Aquarius is side of the connection. Aquarius is side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. This is Aquarius' side of this connection, please. <sighs> so that it didn't. See, this connection, it feels like it's, and that's why. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Give me just a second. It's why, because, so, okay so much coming through it's I'm trying to like piece this together piece by piece but it's like flooded with information right now king of pentacles in reverse six of pentacles in reverse death and it's two of wands in reverse the same two of wands in reverse as we have right here this connection ended for a reason and that reason is that you deserve better it didn't end it didn't end for you to lose as good as it can get. It ended to open you up to the fact that it can get better in your relationships. But for some reason, there's this part of you that truly believes that this connection is as good as it can get regardless of the way that it made you feel like majority of the time. 
And that's what being blinded by the light can do is you see glimpses of the good, right? I'm not saying things were all bad in this connection. I feel like you saw a lot of glimpse, glimpses of the good. But at the end of the day, especially with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you received a hell of a lot less than you gave. And that is not a dynamic that is sustainable for your soul. Because what it does is it drains your soul. It takes from you. It's not filling your cup. It's emptying it. Um, I'm not saying there weren't times that did fill your cup. But I'm saying that majority of the time, that's how things were. Um, but I almost feel like there's a part of you that justifies this. Like, oh, well, there we're going through a lot. Or, you know, it was, it was a tough time. I don't know. Like, justifies their inability to show up for you the way that you showed up for them. Now, everyone goes through a tough time. And yeah, there are absolutely times where you're going to have to step up and give more in a connection than the other person can. But the difference is between that and this connection is that I feel like you were always the one sacrificing. Or are. This could be a connection still together. I don't know. I, I'm having a really hard time figuring it out because it feels like the energies are separated, but they're very much still connected. Um, I feel like you were always the one sacrificing here. Or are. Which is what makes it not align with your highest good because you deserve someone who is willing to sacrifice and show it for you just as much as you are for them. And that's what was missing here. This is for Aquarius' side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Aquarius' side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Is for Aquarius's side of this connection, please. So you bear you carried their burdens. You tr there's a part of you in this Aquarius that I don't know if they're just trying to like take care of them, which is you know sure, but. At the expense of taking care of yourself. That's where the problem lies. It's not that like taking care of them or, you know, giving to this connection was a bad thing. It's that you weren't, not, there was barely any energy going back into your cup. Is, I don't know, is any energy going back into your cup? You're bearing their burdens. Trying to take on, if maybe it was financial, you know, trying to take on their financial burden. Maybe it was emotional, trying to take on the burden of their emotional unavailability. Whatever the case is, you were trying to carry that, to bear that. And at the expense of yourself. And that is why standing your ground in this connection is so vitally important. Because if you don't, the cycle in this is going to continue to repeat. Because you cannot sustainably pour from an empty cup. Forever. You cannot do it. It is not, it's not just that the universe won't make it happen. You won't, your soul, spirit will not let it happen because it's not, you can't, you cannot do that. <laughs> Eventually, like you're going to, it's going to start to affect you. You're going to break. You're going to break down. You're not going to have anything else to give. So you're going to start clinging to whatever it is that you can to make you feel okay. Like it's, I just feel like there's almost this unrealistic standard, Aquarius, that you you set you hold yourself to in this connection, but you do not hold this person to that same standard. Aquarius decided the connection to the person they are dealing with. Aquarius decided the connection to the person they are dealing with, please. Yeah, there's no communication. But I almost feel like you're not being honest with yourself. It's because of this. You see this person, saw them, see them, whether whatever it is, as there is your Ten of Cups, as your long-term emotional fulfillment. But the thing is, you cannot have this. You cannot have this and this at the same time. These two energies will not work together. If you are not standing your ground and you are your cup is being drained and not being filled, you cannot sustain this. 
It will not work. And there's, but it's almost like, especially with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I don't know if there's a part of you that's like, you feel a certain way, you know, you're feeling like your needs aren't being met, but you're pushing it down because you don't feel like you should speak up or like you're deserving of having your needs met or you think that that's just the way that things are supposed to go or you're afraid of losing the person so you don't speak up. Um, whatever it is, there's this energy of not being honest with yourself about how this connection truly makes you feel. And looking at it through those rose-colored glasses, putting this person on a pedestal and, and making them more important than yourself. Um, I've been there. I absolutely have. But this lack of communicating your needs will, will keep you in this energy of just feeling horrible. Because it doesn't, it doesn't make... You know, relationships are supposed to fill your soul. They're supposed to add to your your happiness and your fulfillment they're not supposed to take away from it no relationship can sustainably be the source of your happiness or sense of security you need to create that within yourself first absolutely but relationships aren't supposed to take from your happiness and sense of security and it feels like i don't know i feel like this person this connection did more taking does more taking from you than it does adding to you and that is where I feel like there is this, this, this false desire almost. I don't know. I will get to that in a second. This person's energy toward Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know about this person's energy toward them? This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. This person's energy toward Aquarius. They withdrew. This person, I feel like, is the one who withdrew. Now, or is withdrawn. It might be something they've been ever since this connection started. Like, it's not like they withdrew. They've always been withdrawn. Like, they've never been fully emotionally invested in this. Now, this Page of Cups in Reverse is this energy of emotional unavailability. Actually, you know, be uh, craving emotional connection, but yet being closed off to it at the same time. Which, again, you cannot have this and the Ten of Cups. These, th that literally means the opposite, you know. Um, this person definitely struggles with, with vulnerability here. Which is why I feel like they withdraw, especially when things get hard. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. They're not in a stable position. Maybe it's financially, it could be emotionally. This person's not very grounded. They're not very secure. Both within themselves and outside of themselves too. This is like not just insecurity, but like definitely dealing with that too. And I feel like they turned to you to make them feel stable and secure, both within and without. And that's, and I feel like you did, you tried, you gave, you tried, I'm just starting to get it now. It's like you tried to fix them, help them, save them, whatever you want to. But again, and I already said it, no one can sustainably be the source of our sense of security. We have to create that within themselves first. So it's almost like this person had these unrealistic expectations of you in this connection or has. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. One more, this person's energy 
toward Aquarius. This person, I want it to turn all the way around or hit the table. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. And you could be dealing, I mean, we have the King of Cups and Queen of Pentacles, the so water, earth sign. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this into words. Because they're showing up as the Emperor, Temperance in Reverse, and then this Ten of Pentacles here. They're focused on... They're looking for materially what you're looking for emotionally, but I don't necessarily know what that means. That's just what I keep hearing. They're looking for something materially that you're looking for emotionally. I don't know. Okay, this might not be for everyone, but some of you, like, this person relied on you heavily financially. That's not just, that's not for everyone, but definitely coming through a little bit. Um, it's like they're really focused on their material world, like their, like, things or money or even if they're a spiritual person, like, like, like more spiritual materialism. I don't know. It, it just feels like they're very focused on... It's not, it's not just money. It's like outside stuff. Things that, I mean, things that don't really matter. It's almost like they're frustrated with you for not being able to be what they need to be themselves. Stable. I don't know. Not that you're not stable, but that you, you can't be stable for you and them. You can't be financially secure for you and them. You can't be, you can't have, I don't know, whatever it is. It's like they're frustrated that you're not what they're looking for. But that's not true because you are like, okay. Because I don't want you to think that I'm saying like you're not what they're looking for because I, I do feel like you are. But it's like they have these, un, it, it just feels like unrealistic expectations of you, of the connection. They're a taker. I mean, you're a giver, they're a taker. Now, givers have limits, takers don't, right? And I feel like they took until you had not as much to give and then it's almost like they withdrew because they're like, you're not giving me as much. You're like, well, I've given you everything. I've given you everything I have. I don't have anything else to give. And they're like, oh, well, I got I gotta get it from somewhere because I'm not providing it for myself, so I gotta find it outside of myself. Like, that's kind of what this energy feels like. Don't think they're a bad person. It's not what I'm saying. I think that they're looking for their connections. And maybe this isn't romantic. This could be romantic material, or romantic, platonic, um, familial. But it's almost like they're looking for their connections to be for them what they're not for themselves. That's the best way I can put that. And they're fresh, they got like frustrated with this connection for it not being what they lack in themselves. I don't know, or like you were what they lacked in themselves for so long, but again, that's not sustainable. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius. It's interesting the way that's coming through. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. Which is why I feel like until these issues get resolved, you know, you're standing up for yourself. They're, they learn to look within instead of without for security, love, validation, whatever the case is. Then this connection isn't going to align. That's why these unresolved issues keep things out of alignment. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please.
this person's energy toward Aquarius, please. So yeah, I feel like they ended up walking away. It kind of feels like you gave them everything that you had and then they ended up piecing out. Or pushed you to walk away, like. But I feel like they withdrew first. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that's like a blessing in disguise kind of energy. This is also very karmic for them. This is, I feel like, a karmic aspect of their connections. I feel like you're a karmic aspect of your connections or not setting boundaries, things of that nature. And then they've kind of got this, this going on. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. One more. This person's energy toward Aquarius. So this is karmic for them. I wish I would have taken that eight away. Yeah. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. There's no communication in this connection, Aquarius. You guys might talk, but you do not communicate. There is no communication. <laughs> now, you might try, but if someone else, if one, both people have to be willing to communicate, to be vulnerable, right? Both people have to be willing to be vulnerable, to be open, to be understanding, to be empathetic, and to be willing to listen and respond instead of react, right? Communication is tough, and there is a heavy lack of it in this connection, and I feel like a big reason for that is because it's, I don't know if you learned over time or in past connections or in childhood or something, it's almost like you learned like there, that there's like no point in communicating almost, like that it doesn't help anything or it doesn't matter because your needs are never listened to or they're always invalidated or something here. This connection brings out a lot of this person's insecurities. And that's, it's almost like, I don't know if they were overly critical of you. That could be something. Definitely critical. I feel like more maybe of themselves more so than you, but maybe it did get projected on you from time to time. Um, they don't have a very good view of themselves though like who they really are, which might be why they're so focused on building outside of themselves because since they, if you don't, for people who don't really like who they are, they work on building up their material world, like their level of success or their finances or how people view them or whatever the case is, right? Like social media, followings, whatever. People who don't really like themselves focus on that. Um, I don't think this person really likes themselves. And I feel like they projected, and that's the thing, right? They are not being for themselves what they need to be. And then they're projecting this lack of whatever they don't have in themselves onto you. One thing I do want to mention is sometimes these, these readings can be mirrored. Sometimes you can resonate with both sides. Um, if that's something, like I highly recommend doing some introspection there because I do feel like it's like trigger, trigger, trigger. You're triggering them. They're triggering you back. Like it's just... That's what a karmic connection does, too. But I do feel like there's, I don't know, there's just this insane lack of communication about what the other is really feeling, what's really going on here. This person's energy toward Aquarius, and you cannot force someone to communicate. That's the hardest thing, too. You can communicate. You cannot control how someone receives that communication or how they respond. This person's energy toward Aquarius. This person's energy toward Aquarius, please. They hurt you. They hurt you. They hurt you and then played the victim. Not that they're, I'm not, I'm try, trying to discredit this person's feelings by any means, but I do feel like 
because I don't want this to be like a one-sided reading. I just feel like they ran from this, right? Like they withdrew and then however you responded hurt them and now that's what they're focused on. Um, I mean, there are three sides to every story, right? So like, I just, I feel like this person has this perspective of like, I almost like, figure out how to put that into words it's like I just noticed I was holding my breath through that it's like you're you not being able to make them feel secure when to be quite honest that's not your job that's not something that can happen for the long term. So I feel like that's why you have these unresolved issues with the two of wands in reverse. There's too much going on on both sides for this connection to align, which is why you think you want this connection, but you don't want this person until they deal with what's really going on here because they have this emotional unavailability. They're almost like closed off to what you have to provide. And I feel like you gave a lot to this, but it just, it feels like it still wasn't enough for them. And it's not that you didn't give enough. It's not that you're not enough. It's that I don't really know if anyone can be enough for this person if they're, if they're so focused on looking for someone to be their source of stability. I don't know. It's, I feel like there's a lot of layers though. Okay, we're going to hop on over to the extended. You have unresolved issues with the Two of Wands in reverse. This is focusing on what is the deeper purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. I'm going to pull nine different messages and then I have an advice card to pull at the end. Thank you so much, Aquarius, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Aquarius, I wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Right, bye, Aquarius.